Hey everyone, this is Phil. Welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be talking about the new FZ loops. We'll go over their backgrounds, uh, what they do, and we'll test them out on some speed cubes here. So we have uh, four pretty popular cubes. We're going to dump the lube in and we'll see how they feel before and after. Yo, hi everyone. This is FZ and I'm the designer of our new FZ loops. So I'm a cuber and also I'm a chemist which is really interested in the lubricants of cubes. So this time we would like to make a lube which can make the cube more controllable without slowing it down too much. And also we would like to make the lube easy to clean and also last for a longer time. So we have the FZ Calm and the FZ Rush and I hope you will like them. So to give you guys a little background about these lubes, uh, they were made by Freddy, who goes by FZ. It's not Felix Zemdegs or, I don't know, Fruit Zebra or whatever. So this lube uses a hydroxy base, uh, no silicone. Rush uses some water, Calm uses no water. So if you are used to a silicone lube, this will feel a little bit different in a good way, hopefully. And that's what we were going for when we made these lubes. All right, so we're gonna apply this lube to a random piece. This is a piece from a YS3M. This is what it looks like when it sits on top of the plastic. And then uh, when it rubs, this is how it disperses. And it stays on the piece for quite some time. I think one good characteristic of this lube uh, is that it cleans really easy. But if you don't clean it, it lasts for a very long time. So that's really cool. Calm is very similar, except it has no water. So it's a little bit less runny. You can see it's more viscous. And this is what it looks like on the piece. So my hand's actually fine. Usually I have to wash it with soap and water, but I feel great. Like there's no, there's nothing on it. So as far as using these loops go, these are both piece loops. This one is much faster. This one is kind of in the middle. Uh, it's not super slow, but it's also not as fast as DNM or FC Rush. I think DNM is still our fastest loop. This is probably the second fastest loop that we have. So using these really depends on how you want to set up your cubes. For me personally, I think this is a little too fast to just use by itself. So I usually combine it with some heavy silicone. This is cubicle weight four. Uh, this is a really good all around lube. So what I'll do is I'll lube a cube with weight four, you know, break it in, make it smooth, and then speed it up with FC Rush. That's what I did with this cube. This is my main. I wore out the lube a lot in this cube on live streams and everything. So I'm going to re-lube it and we'll try it out. And then also we have a GAN 14. This is like the new thing, RS3M Super. So this is a very papery, you know, very, very sandy cube out of the box with no lube. And this is a Tornado V3 Pioneer UV coated. So this is what the plastic to plastic feel sounds like and looks like. So we're gonna lube all of these. Okay, so let's start with the cheapest cube. We have the RS3 Super. This cube is bone dry. There's like nothing in it whatsoever. We're going to lube a little bit with silicone. Okay, so a tiny bit of silicone. Now it has that well lubed silicone feel. Now uh, you get to choose, do I want the cube to be really fast or do I want the cube to just be smooth and comfortable? And let's just go fast because it's cooler to show you guys on video. So we'll do two of these. One, two, then we'll break in. Two drops of FC Rush with a tiny bit of silicone and it feels completely looped. This is a little too fast for me. But uh, I know there are some people out there that really like this feel. This is what it sounds like now. Pretty cool. So here is the GAN 14. The GAN 14 is very tactile. You can hear the, the tactility when you turn the layer. So we're gonna do the same thing. Add some silicone just so that it's not uncontrollably fast. And then we'll use FC Calm on this one because I feel like if I use this, it would be like way too fast. The GAN 14 is a, is a very, very fast puzzle. So we'll do one, two, three. And you can instantly hear it's a lot smoother and there is more cohesion between the layers. How do you do this all along? So like this, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, here is a TV3. So this is factory settings, no loop. I feel like this cube is on uh, pretty loose settings. Like 
it's pretty flexy. So I can either tighten it and use rush or keep it and use calm. I think both choices kind of make sense. I'm just gonna use this because uh, I'm gonna alternate loops. Uh, let's see here. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it's really fast. All right, so onto the last cube. This is actually my main, this is what I use. My setup is basically the silicone plus this. So we're going to do that. This cube is uh, still has some lube in it. So I'm gonna be easy on it and not put too much. One good thing on the subject of putting too much is that it's very hard to saturate your cube. So if you over lube, it doesn't ruin your cube as quickly as silicone does. So if you just dump a ton of silicone in your cube, it'll feel really draggy and bad. But uh, it takes a lot of this lube to make that mistake and to over lube. So in case you add too much, it's not the end of the world. Um, there is a point where you know, it gets too much, but that point is like half the bottom or something. So uh, definitely the, the risk of over lubing is not, not as bad. So there's two in here. Yeah, you can just hear how smooth the cube is. It's nice. So this is exactly the setup that I like, and uh, I did this setup pretty fast. The lube is really easy to use, uh, really easy to clean, and uh, making a mistake with it is really hard. So definitely, I think all those attributes are strengths of this lube. There are other combinations that you can try that are really cool. So another one is Dignitas and Rush. Dignitas is hydrophobic, and Rush contains water. So when you combine those, you get a really, really smooth and fast feel. So that's a really good one if you wanna try. It feels kind of like Dignitas and DNM, except slightly smoother. And then Calm is probably more usable by itself than Rush because this is a medium sort of feel and it's not too fast or slow. So uh, if you are the type to get one lube, definitely this is more realistic than this one. But hopefully by adding these to your collection, you can explore different feelings and yeah, different experience with your cube. Yeah, give it a try. If you ever see me you know, at an event or at the cubicle, we have samples of this you can try. Hopefully you guys can try it soon. Find it at thecubicle.com.